Okay, so I've been using the same pedal board for, man, like 10 years. Some of the pedals on my pedal board I have literally been using for over seven years and they're still working. So anyway, that's cool. But I want to change my pedal board. We're playing a lot down to the river is and I want to streamline the way I'm doing things because right now I'm doing that crazy pedal dance where I'm just turning this one off, this one on, switching this one on and my feet are getting in the way and, and uh, I'm trying to make it so when I play it's a lot smoother and um, you know just uh, more pro. So I bought one of these. Electro Harmonics Super Switcher. So this is my journey of rearranging my pedal board, getting a new one, getting a switcher, and putting it all together and seeing if it can work or not. See if I can make it work or not. So uh, let's dive in. I think the first thing we need to do is take all the pedals off my old pedal board. I'm talking these haven't been off in years. It's going to be crazy. Let's do it. So Jordan put my old pedal board together and we used a uh, pedal pad, I think it's called, and so they come with these plates and he, he secured them all by drilling holes through it and put them on here. The perfect way of doing it when you use this pedal board. But I think with this switcher, I am going to not use the pedal board, probably try to go with something lighter. So I've got to take all these off of these. So I can figure this out. So surprisingly, that was a lot of work. Things I've learned, don't start something like this unless you have the right tools. I didn't even have the right size screwdrivers or anything. And uh, get a workbench, don't do it in the floor. But uh, I got all my pedals off my pedal board, pedal board to the side. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. But uh, next, uh, I'm going to tackle pedal placement, which pedals I need to use, and uh, I'll get into what that switcher is and hopefully what it will do to help me out when I'm gigging.